but it just kind of goes to show that Blizzard is definitely running out of money, man. If y'all broke, just say that. I mean, <laughs> come on. Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Well, boys and girls, it's another year, another winter wonderland on Overwatch. But unlike the last time I played, there's a battle pass now. No more loot boxes teasing you and enticing you to play hours upon hours and hours of the game, or just, you know, spending enough money getting premium currency or possibly getting the skin you want while pulling loot boxes. No, 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 no. We don't do that no more. Uh-uh. Now, we just grab our mom's credit card directly and just pay for the skin we want. And then, grind the battle pass but let's see what kind of skins we got this year look at oh hold on that's my shadow play look at look at how beautiful this is just you can feel the magic of christmas time we absolutely love it man we love it all right so let's go ahead and take a look uh there's a winter wonderland event um it, i guess it's supposed to be a theme park um earn tickets every nine games so every nine games that you play uh obviously if it's free you get 10 20 30 40 uh nine games nine games that's a lot that's a lot of games for 40 40 tickets and for 40 tickets you can get you can't even get a skin so imagine yikes that's actually a lot of games <laughs> Now, I wonder if this counts towards arcade or if this counts towards only playing quick play. Um, so there's definitely no way you're getting all the skins. I already have these from Overwatch 1, so obviously I get those. Um, this one seems pretty cool. The wrapping paper Reinhardt seems dope. Uh, Winter Jammies Ilari. This is dope. I think something that they can do since they're just crazy monetizing the crap out of this game, because it looks like there's also a... A couple of different tiers so in total you'll get two four six eight ten twelve 120 tickets at 120 tickets playing all of the games you still won't even get a premium skin so you'll get the formal wear you'll get the 91 so you'll get an epic skin this one's an epic skin yeah you won't get this reinhardt one uh you can get a lari but you won't get reinhardt so you actually have to pay for something um, and then with the tickets here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 times 3 is 30, 36, yeah. Uh, yeah, 360 tickets, so it looks like 360 tickets, will that get you all of these? It'll get you all of the skins, but won't get you all of the items, it looks like. Yeah, so you'll be kind of screwed, so, um, but I assume if you also get the premium, you also get the free ones too, so, yeah, you... You'll have enough. You'll have enough to get every single thing in here. Uh, it ends January 16th, so if you're interested in that, definitely go and check that out. And then, of course, we have the Winter Wonderland challenges. So, of course, with every event in Overwatch, now we have free rewards that they kind of do uh, just based off of challenges. So, these are pretty cool. Um, they help you towards... I mentioned it earlier. They help you towards the battle pass. Um, honestly, this has been my least favorite thing that has been added into Overwatch. Um, I don't know. Maybe it works for them, but it just it just doesn't do it for me. Um, so let's go over the skins first. Um, Junker Queen is your first major cap here. Uh, if you reach milestone 20, which actually I think there's one more. Um, MAGA is part of the premium, so we're just going to go over the free stuff for now. Um, you get this ham skin, which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Now, keep in mind, the battle pass is not a winter battle pass. I want to be very clear about that. The battle pass is not a winter battle pass. There are no winter items in here. I know the battle pass that we just came off of had Halloween stuff in it. This one is Battle of the Beast. This is for specifically the release of Malga, or Maga, excuse me. Uh, this is specifically for his release. Um, so there's going to be a lot of tank items in here. So if you're a tank player, we're, we're eating good, baby. We're eating good. The next major skin that you're going to get is the Hazmat Reaper skin. I'm not going to lie. This, this is fire. This is absolute fire. Is it enough for me to pay $20 for a battle pass? I don't know about that. I, I definitely don't know about that. We got some free voice lines for Ramatra, Ham. Um, what is this? Exospine. Is this supposed to be a 
Cyberpunk 2077 Netrunners thing? It's a souvenir, so it goes on your weapon. Okay, cool. Um, guess. Uh, let's see. Next milestone, you get Lucio, which honestly, this skin is a little strange. It's a graffiti skin. Uh, it's kind of comparable to Sombra's old graffiti skin, so this is this is very interesting. Um, sorry, not Sombra, Tracer. Wow, I haven't played this game in so long. Jeez. Uh, and then, of course, if you're playing for free, you get MAGA at level 45. Whoop-dee, whoop-dee-doo. Um, I do like how the Battle Pass does give you this character for free um, until next season. At the end of this season, so in 54 days, as of this recording, in 54 days when the new battle pass starts, you are able to do the challenges in order to get this character absolutely free if you don't play that much. But either way, it looks like you're playing the game. Um, then that leads us to this new Junkrat skin, which is kind of crazy looking. The Sawtooth Trapper. Wow. This is a... This is a good looking skin, man. I like how he has the trap on his head. That's that's dope. I I like I really like that. Um, then of course you got some sojourn stuff. That's cool. Um, Maga sprays. Like it, like it, like it, like it a lot. This Maga skin is crazy looking. I love it. I love it. Lore wise, I'm sure there's like a whole thing for this, but I mean, you know, we'll never really know because they don't make Overwatch cinematics anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then next you'll have Zenyatta, the Beast Whisperer Zenyatta. This is actually really cool. This is kind of like witch doctory. I really, really dig this one, man. I, I, I absolutely love this. It, and this one is free. So you can go ahead and grab that if you make it to level 70 in the battle pass. Um, and it also comes with a cool voice line. Now, the big kind of main one, Battle of the Beast, is, is centered around MAGA and Orisa's new mythic, which is the level 80 cap. Um, this honestly just looks like the bug skin, the beetle skin that she already has, but this one obviously has smoke coming off of it. Uh, there's a couple other major details. The gun is looking kind of crazy, but honestly, you know, it's just another, it's just another skin. Now, if you're an Orisa player, which you kind of have to be, if you're a meta player or uh, if you're playing tank and not really enjoying the game, yeah, you kind of have to play this. But let me know which skin you guys are most excited for, man. Obviously, every 10 levels getting a skin is, is cool and everything. But, I mean, some of them being premium, some of them being free. It's very freemium friendly. Uh, not a huge fan, man. Not a huge fan of it. But, I mean, you know, it's another thing. Uh, the challenges. Let's take a look at this. So, um, obviously, there was a challenge for MAGA not too long ago um for the battle of the beasts start but now that we're in winter wonderland it's not available uh so that will be coming next season i have a couple of uh ones to fill out myself i still don't have life weaver which i don't really play support that often unless i'm playing anna or mercy so it's really like kind of pointless to me um but yes uh going into the weekly ones obviously you got your currency here one thing that I really, really would like to see them change in Overwatch is re-adding premium currency. I know a lot of, like, the early build of Overwatch 2, they had um, free currency, they had premium currency, and then they had battle pass currency. Um, which, honestly, made the game very... I mean, it was good, because as you go through the battle pass, you get all of them. Getting the uh, Overwatch coins is one thing. Obviously, that's premium coins now. Not being able to get those periodically kind of kind of hurts. Because let's see, let's go through the battle pass here. Um, nothing in the first 20 levels. In the next 30 levels, no no premium coins whatsoever. Uh, 40 levels, no premium coins. 50 levels, no premium coins. 60, no premium coins. 70, 80, no premium coins. Which is kind of a real bummer because if you're going through the battle pass. You should be able to get enough points, especially, especially if you decide not to pay for this current battle pass. If you're somebody like me who I play Valorant a little bit here and there, I play uh, Apex a little bit here and there. And one thing I enjoy about those is if you play the game free long enough, you get enough premium currency to eventually just 
by the Battle Pass. Even Genshin Impact does the same thing. As you go through the free versions of the Battle Pass, you get enough premium coins in order to purchase one. So I would really, really like to see that, but it just kind of goes to show that Blizzard is definitely running out of money, man. If y'all broke, just say that. I mean, <laughs> come on. You already got me on the hook for the K-pop skins. Like, what more do you want from me? Um, yes, before you even be like, oh, he bought the K-pop skins? First of all, look at Kiriko. Of course I did. Of course I did. Absolutely. And, there, and you know what? I don't even feel bad about it. So, but hey, man, that is the Battle Pass. That is Overwatch's Winter Wonderland. If there's anything you guys want me to show, uh, currently in the shop, there is the Formal Wear Tracer, which I feel a little strange about that. Um, not sure why, but it costs more than $20 to be able to buy this skin. So you're good. Uh, no, thanks. Um, Overwatch tickets, of course, she has her own emotes. So she has new ones. She has a golden invitation for your banner. Uh, formal wear icon. Neat, neat. We, we like that. We like that. And then one other thing that Overwatch is adding that I wanted to talk about today. <sighs> Weapon skins. Now, previously, if you're somebody like me who has been playing Overwatch since forever, you'll know that after a certain amount of time playing comp, you get enough of these, like, competitive points and then you spend the competitive points on golden weapons loved it it was great striking fear in the hearts of enemies in qp well not really uh because everybody kind of sweats because they're streamers now um but that was definitely a way to show hey i play competitive this is this is obviously a reward for i get it in and it took a while early early overwatch it took a while to get a golden weapon now you have these this is great. I think this is a great addition for them to make more money, of course. But my only problem with this, my only problem, and it happens in Valorant and it happens in Apex. Why does it not happen in Overwatch? If you're going to give us weapon skins, let us inspect our weapon. Not being able to see your own weapon looks terrible okay i get it we're playing a first person shooter but at least add some custom animations i know it was in there because at the beginning of overwatch 2 being marketed that was one thing that we saw in a couple of trailers was characters being able to look and inspect at their weapons so until you guys add that feature i will not be purchasing any of these uh because it's just it's just kind of pointless um other people are gonna look at you and be like he's a whale not he plays the game a lot uh, golden skins were great because, oh, you, that's a grinder right there. He's grinding day in and day out competitive. But this, he took his mom's credit card. <laughs> so, uh, of course we have all of the ticket skins, so you can get all of those. Formal wear, wear Sojourn is available. And then for me, there's a bunch of different bundles here. These are kind of cool, I guess. Um, I mostly play tank, so this is showing just for you stuff. So this is like the FYP <laughs> off of TikTok. This is the FYP skin section. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for some of these to pick up a couple of these skins because you're a collector, Sentai Genji is in here, a new Farah, uh, the new tagged Tracer. This is kind of interesting. I don't know why they went with this. And uh, Varsity Diva, which I, I would want to pick this up, definitely. But I'm not about to spend the money for it, that's for sure. Uh, so there's some great skins in a couple of these packs. Guys, let me know if any of these interest you. Personally, I'm not spending any more money on Overwatch. Uh, I don't think this game deserves any of my money, to be honest. I'm just going to keep playing it and keep suffering and keep complaining about it. But hey, let me know from all the skins that we saw today. Let me know down in the comment section, what was your favorite, man? And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe because, hey, look, uh, I, I, need, I need the subs, man. I'm trying to hit 10K soon. Uh, your boy is back making regular content on a regular basis. Uh, like today's video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to check out my last video, which anime games are getting a little wild, man. I got a video right here you should check out. Not only are they getting a little wild, they're getting a little scammy. So we talk about the newest one in, in this video right here. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that. And I'll see you guys on the next one.